When they brought the driver in, I was told that she had no obvious injuries, but was very shocked. We felt it was in her best interest to delay telling her about her sister until she had some family support. Would you like to get into the wheelchair? Then I can wheel you down to casualty. I don't need that. I'm, I'm not that injured. You can't walk in your room just yet. She was shaking, crying a bit, hysterical, typical road accident, upset, very fraught. I, I, I don't need this blanket. You'll have to. You're in shock and you might catch a chill. Look, where is my sister? What's happened to her? She's all right, isn't she? Well, we're not quite sure yet, but we're doing our best to get in contact with your mum. Now, you're going to have to put on a hospital gown. The doctor wants to examine you to see if you have any injuries at all. I'll leave you here for a minute, then you can get changed. You feel aggressive towards drink drivers. You think, you stupid people, how can you do this? Don't you realize what you're doing? I hope it never comes across. Because after all, I don't think they do it deliberately. <coughs> well, they, they drink deliberately and they choose to drive deliberately, but they don't think, they just don't think it could kill somebody. The doctor conducted a full examination and she had no injuries at all. I kept thinking what the mother would be like when she got there. You know, one daughter's dead and the other one who's living is the cause of the accident. Where is my sister? Why won't you let me sit? That's all I want to do. The traffic police will want to see you first. Well, what are they going to do? They'll want to breathalyze you. It's anything. As long as I can see my sister in a minute. They breathalyzed her. It was positive. 184 milligrams, over two times the legal limit. Right, I've done what you wanted. Now can I see my sister? I'll let you see your sister in a minute. I promise you. You knew I wanted to see her. That's why I cooperated with you. If you don't let me get you. this thing, go find her on my own. You must stay here. We can't have patients walking around the hospital. I'm sorry, but you will have to wait. I remember the mother arriving. I kept thinking what it would be like if it was my children. It was very tense, very fraught. This is uh, Charge Nurse Davis. I've been looking after Judy. Um, look, wh why don't you go and have a cup of tea? And uh, I'll explain the whole situation to Judy. Would you like to come this way, Mrs. Potter? Come on. <laughs> 